Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Wicked. It is six o'clock on Monday, 8th of January, 2018. Obviously, we're out live as well, uh, although um, God knows if anyone will join us. Uh, yeah, first of all, big Happy New Year. Uh, I'm already buzzing about 2018, but I'm not actually quite ready for it yet. Um, so I had all these big plans of, uh, you know, having all my goals and my vision and everything laid out ready for 2018. Um, but I haven't actually got them down yet. I'm still currently conducting uh, like a review of 2017. Um, and yeah, I'm going to see where that goes. So one of the habits I've got into is kind of, you know, I've started kind of setting goals and then viewing how I'm doing like as I, as I move forward with those, really. So, uh, so yeah, it's kind of a continual improvement cycle. But obviously, uh, you know, each year it makes sense to kind of review those completely and, and have a look at what's been working well, what hasn't, uh, and, you know, make, make kind of adjustments. And, of course, all of that's only really useful if you kind of know where you're going, right? So, yeah, on the last couple of years, I've been really getting into this kind of vision concept and, and just taking steps towards that, you know. But whilst not, you know, not getting too, uh, not getting too uptight about it, you know. I mean, it's everything's kind of... Um, you know, everything is, um, everything takes time, you know, you don't want to get too hung up on it, everything's kind of um, there to be decided, right, so you can change it along the way, but yeah, that being said, um, you know, I, I do look at lots of different categories of things within my life, and how I can improve those and make them a little bit better, really, so basically what I'm saying is, I'm not really ready for 2018 yet, I'm still having a look at 2017, how that went, but there's quite a lot of themes which I'm kind of working on and, and I'm obviously extending. So, you know, all my personal development stuff and I like reading all these business books and all that kind of entrepreneurship stuff. All that's kind of, um, um, you know, it, it's going to continue, really. Um, that's, that's certainly the aim anyway. But, you know, going a little bit more specific trading wise, I think something needs to change in my trading. I was definitely down last year. So I'm, you know, I'm having a look at that. Cryptos, on the other hand, Christ, I, I just had a look at some of my cryptos, you know, and I view those more as an investment. I'm not really trading those at the moment. They're just kind of like um, more of a stock. In fact, on here, I haven't really talked about anything. You know, I'm always talking about trading. I, and I don't really talk about investments uh, stuff so much. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, I kind of view crypto as an investment. I just looked at one, so this isn't, you know, I've, I've said 500%, but I just looked at one little bit of some of the cryptos I bought. I say, I say a little bit, it wasn't that little bit. And it's up to kind of 538%. It's currently up since I originally bought it, which is the biggest one. I've got other ones that are up about 400 and what have you. But yeah, I mean, just as a concept, 500%, I mean, it's like, Jesus. So obviously that started to grab my attention a little bit. That's the equity curve of Ethereum, by the way, on the uh, on the screen down there. Uh, you know, so obviously that's starting to grab my attention a little bit. So as money's going, you know, as, as, as that becomes more significant kind of thing. But I don't really want to get into trading that. It's just made me kind of start, well, I don't, I don't know. I, I, Again, this is why I'm doing the review and I need to give this consideration. But, you know, trading cryptos is, is such a highly volatile market. But, you know, swing, kind of swing investing, that is basically swing trading, isn't it? Uh, there might be, um, you know, there might be some stuff I can do around that. But anyway, yeah, trading, trading as in short term Forex commodities and that last year didn't do well. I think I was down about 9%. Um, I've also been carrying some... FTSE shorts, which are killing me. I've had to come up with an extra exit strategy to get out of those, uh, which hasn't been good. And I'm quite heavily in metals, um, which hasn't been good. Um, but cryptos have offset all of that, to be quite honest. Um, so, yeah, I'm all set for a wicked year in 20, uh, 2018. Reason being, let me just fire this up quickly. Um, as I say, I'm, I'm quite, I've got quite a bit of metal exposure. Um and I kind I, I think we're, well, I think 2018 could be the year where metals start making it, commodities as a whole start making a bit of a comeback. Uh, they've not been very popular recently, but I do think that people are getting a little bit more uh, worried about, um, is that the right password? Christ, how many times have we this? A little bit more worried about things in general, um, you know, which might see a, a kind of movement towards metals. Uh, let's see if we can get you a chart up here. But anyway, yeah, uh, basically silver, gold and that. They've been on a little bit of a rally recently. They hit another low a little bit, um, you know, not too long ago. So I'm just hoping to play that, really, to be honest. Um, and let me get this over here, as I say. So, yeah. Uh, okay, quick comment. Um, indices, 
Yeah, high, high, high. This is a weekly chart. So we're at the highest highs in the history of the FTSE. So money printing really does work. Um, I think we've demonstrated that. It is horrendous if you've been shorting it like I have. And yeah, I have to note that down as a bad trade. A bad, well, it's not even a trade, a bad investment decision. Uh, and that's that. And I've, I've worked out a strategy um, which I'm going to scale out of that. Um, even though I still fully think the markets are a, a little bit overhyped personally, um, I'm, you know, I've, I can't, I need to manage it. So that's what I'm going to do, take some action on it. So that's the, the uh, that's the 100 there. Uh, US isn't that much different. Just looking over uh, what we got here. So this is silver, okay? So yeah, that says it quite well, right? So we're all the way down here with our silver prices at the moment, you know, since it's been up here, you know? So we're, we're really low. So eventually it makes sense that this is gonna start moving back upwards, okay? So I've, over the last couple of years, I've been, uh, well, hang on, it's since about here, really, I've been kind of buying silver around here. So, uh, you know, that's through ETFs and Bullion Vault and the rest of it. And, um, you know, I just, over time, that that I think that will be a solid play, you know. So that's, um, you know, I, I think it could start. You know, we have been in a little bit of a rally here so far this year. Um, you know, if we drop down to the daily, it probably looks a bit more significant. You know, we've had a nice rally here recently, and you know, I just, you know, we're thinking that maybe that will continue. So uh, I don't know. Stocks don't seem to be doing anything but go up at the moment. Um, but I, I still say that people are becoming a little bit more skeptic. Um, the skepticism is increasing, so that feel. I, I do think cryptos are going to have a massive influx of uh, cash. Oh, there's Wolfie. Um, of uh, cash coming into the market in general. I, I've i been through a, this is all the bubble phase in my brain. Um, I mean, there's some insanity, insane returns coming on, but, but just as a concept, this has to grow, right? And I'm not saying it's going to be Bitcoin or, or, or any of these current ones. But just if you think about it as a as a as a concept, it's going to become more and more of a global concept, and I think there's going to be more money in it. So, I mean, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not betting the house on it. I'd never do that. But I, um, I, oi, oi, <laughs> all right, mate. <laughs> um, I wouldn't bet the house on it. But it just makes logical sense that there's going to be more money piling into into this opportunity. Um, but it's going to be highly volatile on all the rest of it. So, uh, anyone thinking of doing that? Personally, I think it's just about getting some exposure to that as an asset and seeing where that can go. Uh, it's quite mad. I was actually talking to my dad about it the other day, and I said, I kind of said to him, you know, oh, I could kind of do a bit of crypto stuff for you if you wanted. And um, he was along the lines of, yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm not now. You know, the the uh, the market's in a in a bull. You know, it, it's overextended. And I was just kind of like, yeah, I I think that's right in most scenarios, but. I don't know. I can see it going a lot bigger. But again, who knows? You don't know, which is why you control your risk. Woo! Control that, that risk. Yeah, anyway, so what else? I, didn't, I really don't want to make this a long one because I haven't really been trading. Um, yeah, annual review. Yeah, as I say, good idea. Just keep your life like pushing along. That's what I'm aiming to do. Oh, yeah, surprise changes to Showboating Trader. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Showboating Trader yet. Uh, hey, John, you're right, bud. Um, I, I'm becoming... Uh, I really want to kind of share more information on here other than trading stuff. So, I mean, the whole point of Showboating Trader was that it was um, like um, a journal of my, uh, you know, journal of my journey, if you like, um, you know, starting with the investing thing. But I mean, um, it's just there's so much more stuff I want to share on here, like, uh, you know, some of this business stuff, some of this entrepreneurship stuff, some mindset stuff on like, you know, all this kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm trying to work out a way in which I can kind of do that, but without completely losing what Showboat and Trader started off as. But anyway, you might see some other stuff on there uh, yeah, going forward. But yeah, as I said, that's probably going to be about it. Um, I don't actually have much to talk about trading-wise. I had a wicked Christmas and New Year. It's fantastic. Saw lots of friends, ate lots of curry, partied hard, got drunk, slept, chilled. And I've been working on... Um, you know, working on some stuff for 2018. Whilst I say I haven't sorted out a plan for 2018 yet, as it, there's definitely some core themes in there which I'm uh, I'm going to keep taking forward. So yeah, I'm probably going to leave it there. That's probably going to be it. Sorry if it's the most boring video in the world. I will come back with some more trading stuff. I will come back with some more financial stuff. But until there, yeah, as I say at the end there, love is all you need really. Go and enjoy your life. Celebrate who you are. And uh, yeah, the other one, live the dream. Big up.
Now, how do I stop this?